a live look at our Bay Area airports on one of the busiest travel weekends that we've seen since before the pandemic as tens of thousands of people catch their flights home for Thanksgiving. And with the travel forecast expected to return to near pre-pandemic levels, health experts are keeping a watchful eye on rising COVID parts and COVID numbers in parts of the nation. CBS News correspondent Tom Hansen reports from New York. With Thanksgiving just days away, Americans are on the go this holiday season. Well over 2 million people are passing through airport security each day, a new pandemic high. We're all taking different precautions. Even with COVID cases on the rise, former FDA Commissioner Dr. Scott Gottlieb says the situation is far better than a year ago, when an average of about 170,000 new daily COVID cases were reported. But we're probably not as good as we should be given all the tools we have between the vaccines and the highly effective drugs and also how much infection we've had in this country and how much immunity is already in place. Nationwide, new cases are up nearly 54% in the last month. Michigan, Minnesota, North Dakota, and Wisconsin are among the hardest hit states. Now that the CDC has cleared the way for Americans 18 or older to get a booster shot, there are growing questions about the prospect for additional boosters. We would hope, and, and, and this is something that we're looking at very carefully, that that third shot with the mRNA not only boosts you way up, but increases the durability so that you will not necessarily need it every six months or a year. We're hoping it pushes it out more. Meanwhile, Disney is reversing course on vaccine mandates for workers at Walt Disney World in Florida. The move comes after Governor Ron DeSantis signed legislation restricting workplace mandates. Tom Hansen, CBS News. And tomorrow marks the deadline for the Biden administration's federal vaccine mandate.